When I built this lair, I included two special wards. One would serve as a beacon that would allow my spirit to find its way here upon my death. And the other would preserve a body almost indefinitely. I then reared two offspring, devoid of their spirits, and placed their bodies in the preservation wards. The plan was simple. If I were to die, my spirit would return here and find a new body in which to live again. While their flesh was yet unformed, I warded the eggs so that no spirit could find a home within them. Would you rather I had bore them normally and then stripped their spirits from them? No. By doing what I did, they were nothing more than empty shells, ready for use. Unfortunately, their father felt as you do and objected to my plan. Had he agreed to it, he could have shared immortality with me. Yes, he attacked me and had to be slain. I regret, but it had to be. Ages ago, dragonkind roamed Faerun freely. Then the civilized races came to power and began to encroach upon our lands. Bloody wars were fought in which your kind launched entire armies upon us. Against such numbers, even we soon fell. Now we are solitary creatures who hide in caves in faraway lands. We fear sleep, for it is often the sleep of death if we are discovered. I was slain fighting for my homeland against an invading army. Ionan, a man of the Ten Towns, wielded the blade that broke my heart. Yes, and history is written by the victors, as they say. It is also said that history repeats itself. Look at the plight of the barbarians. Even now, they are being driven from their lands by the Ten Towns. Soon they will be left with two choices, extinction or absorption. They are a proud people and will not bend. They will choose extinction. An entire culture will vanish, lost forever, all in the name of civilization just as my culture has been lost. When I awakened from my sleep, I looked upon the world anew, and I was shocked to see how little had changed. My lands were still in the hands of the Ten Towns. The plight of the barbarians had not changed at all. I saw a kindred spirit in Wolfdane, so I joined with him to end this tragedy once and for all. The sword of Ionan had a special enchantment, almost an intelligence of its own. When the fatal blow was struck, it somehow knew that I would be born anew. The blade broke, sacrificing itself that I might be trapped. My spirit lay within my shattered heart at the bottom of Lac Dinishir. I can only guess that the blade was removed allowing my spirit to go free. Never! My heart was shattered long ago, and all mercy bled from the wound. I lost my love, my life, and my kingdom. I shall reclaim it all, or I will pass into oblivion like most of my kind. Draw your blade. Let us end this now. You're about one click away for a fight. Consider it done. I'm listening. Shush. Yes, yes. Forward. Yes, yes, here, here. I'm on it.
wrong. Give the word. Consider it done. Your command? Yes. Mm. Insert. Imperial. I am wounded. I need aid. Ah. Imperial. Here they are. My aim shall be true. 
Give the word. Vita Mortis Yes. What do you want? My pleasure. 